Welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna play Bitter Melon. So tell us what you're doing right now. I'm putting some, uh, what is this? Organic. I don't know if this is real organic, you know. <laughs> this is a uh, vegetable and tomato food. So, I put that much. Let's go put a little bit. I don't know if that's going to work, but I don't trust it. No, no. Then, I got these seeds from a friend. He gave that. He gave this to us. So I had tried to plant it the last time. Then I get I got a good success, but I didn't get no no fruit out of it because we too late. I planted uh, by already like win like almost winter, some about like October something. So I didn't get no fruit, but I got a lot um, of leaves out of it that I ate. Cause they delicious and healthy. I'm just so you did say the good thing about bitter melon is that not only do you have like you don't have to wait until they fruit you get the so fruits you yeah. can actually start the, using the leaves. the leaves. What do you do with the leaves? I boil it and then had uh, like sprinkle a little salt on it. Then I'm gonna chop I chop some uh, tomato. Is and it like a stir fry yeah, or like, like a, a soup? Stir you can eat it like a stir fry or you can mix it with like your soup if you want to like uh, cook uh, like chicken chicken with some soup you can put that leaves of bitter melon but I know I don't know I liked it but some people might don't like it because it's bitter you know mm. but the most important thing is is the uh, the leaves is healthy they use it to uh, cure cancer diabetes a lot of stuff like if you're anemic it help you to give it help you give a uh, supplement blood too so i'ma just put that in, like some of them here Let's see maybe about yeah. how deep do you put them i just do like my my finger my, like you see one sprung. i don't put it too deep Don't matter though. Like in a bed this size, how many are you actually gonna gonna plant in um, there? Probably ten or like twelve, something like that. In here. Are you gonna cut them back per se? If if some no, I don't have to, cause uh, like some of them going, it's just gonna go in a trailer like a trailer anyway. So it don't matter if they go in garbage other, cause they still gonna make food out of it. It don't have to be perfect huh? you know like just put the some of them in there because maybe some of them in grow like uh, some of them might not grow some of them might grow we just don't know so we just don't put, keep putting stuff in there to see which one is going to grow. Alright. I think that's it. I've got one. Probably two more. In the middle. Alright. So what now? And I just what? what now? Yeah, what now? <laughs> and I discovered How long did it take for us to get some of this bit of melon that you're talking about? I don't exactly know but whenever when they start coming out they grow in like because they they grow fast so i don't know probably two weeks they already all go should be sprouting sprouting or depending upon the weather if yeah we get, it depends if we on the weather as long cold. as i hope that it don't get really cold because they don't really like cold they like hot weather hmm. yep so what's the famous words that you always tell all of your seeds when you plant them? <laughs> no, I don't tell them. I talk to them, but I don't want to tell them I say, grow, grow, grow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
So thank y'all for watching this episode. Uh, she really wanted to get out and plant her bitter melon. Uh, something that actually helps her feel a little bit at home, I would say. Mm -hmm. Because you, we don't really see it that much here. It's starting to come in some of the fruit stands. But and they cost high over here. Yeah, and, and it is high. So as I tell everybody, those seeds are way cheaper than any bitter melon you're going to buy anywhere at the store. So uh, thank y'all for watching no, this episode. And you can... Uh, and you gonna interplant? I get like I was saying. Uh, I wanna uh, even though they're growing, I'm gonna I wanna sprinkle some over here too. Cause this one is just like just on the ground. Yeah, it's like on the ground. ground. They don't go nowhere. So let's try it. I might let them. Let us let them look at this uh, and tell them what these are. And this is jute. This jute uh come on like it come from Africa. Something like that. And this is uh, one thing too that uh, you can use, they uh, cure cancer too. Yeah. Which so. like all, like some baseball, all, I think all baseball that come from, come from the uh, Asia, Africa, Africa, something like that. Is they all healthy. They wish one, a lot of people like to go and buy some. Okay, so this is gonna be our... Uh, bitter melon and jute race bed. Oh, circle raised bed. circle, yeah, raised hey. circle. Uh, we also gonna, I'm gonna go get some more dirt, uh, dirt for for, for that, that one at the end down there for that last one. The rest of these have garlic and onions in them. So this is the only one that we we thought the strawberries were gonna grow in there. So we got one little strawberry, but everything else is hopefully gonna be bitter and juice. So we're gonna yeah. go and water that in, and okay. hopefully we get you an update in. Probably eat two weeks. Few weeks. Few weeks. A month. On. Maybe a yeah, month. month. Uh, today is Sunday, Sunday. February. This. No, fourth. March. March the fourth, two thousand eighteen. All right. So y'all know when the next time we come back with with an update on this bed, mm -hmm. then that should tell you exactly how long it's taken. So, thanks for watching. Good job, Miss Beverly. I know the world appreciates you. And sooner or later. It'll be strawberry time. See ya.